Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, bum. Let's do this. Here comes the boy. Hello, boy. Welcome. <laughs> Alright. Hello, everybody, and uh, welcome back. This is your one and only chicken salad here with some more Alan Wake. We're now up to episode three. I believe it's called Ransom. I hope you enjoy. Oh, we're going to have to load it up though. <laughs> And then the game capture. Oh, it's not capturing. Then game capture. Yeah, it's such a weird system. There we go. Okay. We good? Sorry, before we start, I just wanna double check that I'm actually live. Dude, after that one event, it's actually made me just paranoid the entire time, eh? I guess it's good, it keeps me on track. Yep, looks like I'm la 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 live. So let's get let's get onto it. I'm just gonna enlarge this so I can actually see. Push it out like that. And uh, this should be fine. Yep. Do you wanna pretty much continue where we la left, last left off? Steam Cloud, please. Help you folks. Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trailer. That Rose, she's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place is crazy. Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true and get this most of this stuff takes place around cauldron lake well Ooh. you ain't wrong mister the indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld i'm the god-fearing type myself I, I don't hold with that sort of thing yeah okay anyway there was an island there owned by a guy called thomas zane now some of the articles i found about him make him out to be a famous writer but i ran a bunch of searches couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving, so much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. Huh. Crazy, huh? Now, before we go any further, I just realized... Uh, controls, key bindings, I need to know. It's still... Delete his throw. Okay, so that means I need to change my setting to editing setting. And we're back. Right. I feel like there might be something around. I'm gonna look. Oh, I should do also want to see if there is any um I turn off the motion blur. That's hard. Graphics high, backdrop, already all high, draw distance. Grass distance. Doesn't look like there is any. I really hate the, the motion blur. Now, I know I said I'm. I'll take you to Rose's trailer. Yep, just uh, looking for collectibles. Be right with ya. Uh, nothing, nothing. No collectibles, huh? It's really allow me to run. 
not far. Uh, damn, what happened to this guy? Got a limp? It's control for walk. Oh, how did that boat get there? Have I seen this stuff? I was curious about how the boat got there. Okay. Just me, eh? Just me. Yeah, how about that? It was there in the morning, as if it had fallen from the sky. But it would take a tornado to lift something like that. We're damn lucky it didn't crush any of the trailers. Very. Oh, here doggos. And I see something. Thermos. This should really allow us to run in these segments. It makes sense. It doesn't make any sense that you can't. Listen, I got things to do. This place don't run itself. Oh, that's fair. That's a fair statement. I'm coming. Apologize. I just, you know, have to get a good handle on the world. Who knows what things might come in handy, eh? Jagger drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. Sure, Jagger's a local spook story. The scratching hag comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. Anyway, Al, I'm just getting to the best part. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. What, the lamp lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. Yeah, anyway, she knew both Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. I get scared by the burbs. I really get the feeling there's something out here. I don't think the developers are that mean, are they? Oh, uh, give me a break, mister. Can we just get a move on? You know, I'm just, you know, gathering some inspiration for my next book, you know? Oh, we gotta touch it. As always. Huh. My apologies, sir. You know how it can be. Easily distracted. Well, mister, this here's Rose's trailer. You mind me asking what you want with her? We're just here to talk to her, pal. That's exactly it. We're just here to talk. Right, I know this is annoying. I'm just going to do this one more time. I just need to check what my... Uh, yeah, yeah. So I just wanted to make sure that the stream was up. I know, I know. Very annoying. But, uh, it's part of the whole stream process. You know, until I can refine it. I right, see ya, buddy. Thanks for the sort of talk and directions. Let's uh, go say hello. After we like uh, snip around a little. Hey, Izzy. Welcome back to the stream. How's it going? How's your day been? Right, let's have a look inside. Bit of good old knock. It's a funny way to knock. Welcome to... to... Oh dear. Mr. Wake. Whoa. I'm... I'm so glad you're here. Did you guys see that? Rose, you have my manuscript? Oh. Oh yes. Yes. Please, come in. Come on. Come on guys, this is... Hey! Clearly this weird. Is really good! Rose. Yes. My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, for wow. Mary. 
She doesn't have anything. Yeah. Uh, hey, Al. Al, what's... Oh. Barry! What? Damn, you've been drugged. What? Skin. I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. I promised I'd come visit you and your lovely wife. Oh, you creepy must old lady. Finish what you started. I insist. You must turn the lights on. Turn the light on. I felt nauseous, hung over. Only anger kept oh, damn. me going. Al. I can't tell reality from dream anymore, but it seems I have an imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very strict. I I'm writing faster and faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. I hate it, but I know she's right. What? She's not right. She promises me I can save Alice this way. She knows more of this than I do. About the complex incantation I'm attempting. About this place. She's worked with another writer under similar circumstances, Thomas Zane. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I'm getting close. I can feel it. Hmm. Excuse me. Come on, buddy. Come on, Alan. Oh my god. Look at those real life pictures. She literally built a shrine. Oh, it's a very cute, uh, cute room. And she has all the books. Oh, you're not doing too, you're not doing too well, eh? You know, sometimes you have those days, you know. Sometimes you need to have some bad days to really appreciate the good days too. I know how cliche that sounds. And I hate making it about myself, so I won't. <laughs> but I hope you know, whatever you're feeling, whatever you're going through. Yeah, I know it's going to be, I know it's hard. It, it, it sucks. But understanding where it comes from and then learning to have that self-compassion and to, you know, take it easy on yourself and, you know, a bit of that self-love and, you know, forgive yourself for the struggles and stresses that happen in life. That's just um, part of life. And life comes with stress. Life comes with problems. And that's just, part of the human experience and in and in of in and of itself it's, there's both beauty it's both um a blessing and a curse i haven't been too bad um at a really low moment today where i really didn't want to go to work and then uh, i had to kind of push myself <laughs> so i've got this uh you know maybe it's uh it was before David Goggins times, but uh, previously, like I had, like one of my motivator is, I imagine there's like a, a fully pumped up, like back in my days where I was shredded, the gym bro dude, I, I I project an image of like that person, and that was my past self. I'm no longer that person anymore, but that past self, and it's funny because in my head, it, this previous physical specimen of myself that I actually achieved is just telling me stop being a bitch go in do your work <laughs> and see how you feel and then I was like you know what I really don't, you know what I'm, I'm just gonna go see one client and then if I don't feel well I'll, I'll call in sick for the rest of the day so I went to a client and it didn't go too well because obviously because I'm feeling low uh, but we managed to get to get it through, and we managed to get the things that we needed to do that are done. Because I'm a professional, and then I felt even lower. And again, that projection of myself comes like, "Stop being a little bitch, <laughs> keep going." <laughs> and then I went to the next client, and I was like, "Oh, this session's like getting worse." But surprisingly, 
the kid ended up just doing the work anyways. And I was like, what the hell? And I was like, oh, I'm starting to feel nice. And then I saw the next client and the next client. And you know, at the end of the day, I did the whole day and I feel better now. Also, I've, uh, I've started this thing. I'm trying to convince myself, like, who cares what other people think? It's been a long journey of that. Uh, I think it's helpful to care about what people think, but at the same time, if it doesn't serve your function, does it impacts you functionally, then it's something you probably need to modify. And I've been trying to do that for years, and I think I'm slowly getting my hand, my hand handle on it. I think you know it's it's getting better. Not too bad, you know. Ah, oh, thank you for the elegant hug, Izzy. Of all those days. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the, that's the crazy thing. The crazy thing is, everybody has, has these days. There's only a select few people that don't have these days, and those are people with, uh, who don't have that part of the brain or processes. And, you know, and the special wired people whose brain are wired in a specific way. That's it. See, Izzy? You know what to do. Sometimes you just gotta listen to yourself. Rose took a day from me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. We have copy. Cooking with corn. 72 tasty recipes. Hmm. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. What can I get you today? Coffee? I couldn't work up much hate for Rose. Something had used her to get to me and left its mark. First refill is free. Milk and sugar on the counter there. Would you like to hear today's specials? Thank you. Have a nice day. Come back soon. God damn, and I, and I thought I had problems, eh? <laughs> I thought I had I had a bad day. Rose, oh, you poor thing. And I could help you out somehow. Alright, Al. Barry was out of it. He was way too heavy to carry. <laughs> Well, at least he's just sleeping. All right. I deserve more money. I'm so handsome. <laughs> I mean, you have to give the guy credit with his credit due, right? Like, like this Barry. I, I called him out earlier. I just realized. Um, Barry's definitely got that confidence, you know, whether he's faking it or not. You know, that that's gonna help him move forward. As much as you hate him for being the weasel that he is, but. We just got a weasel, eh? Most days I don't want to go dance because I hate what people think of me and I don't want to be judged by it, but I say freaking go anyways. That's right! Uh, just like uh, the little voice in my, well, the projection of my one. My gun and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. Except, there is time to waste and we're going to pick up the manuscript. F5 this bitch. Randolph calls the police. Mr. Randolph liked Rose. That little smile she had. How she was still sweet when life had tried so hard to make her bitter. It wasn't any of his business what she did in her trailer. But those strangers, the writer and his smart ass sidekick, looked like trouble. And they'd been in there for hours, way past her normal bedtime. He reached for the phone and called the sheriff station. Okay. The Randolph liked Rose. <sighs> so I saw this interesting thing about um, eating um, food and then letting and washing up out your mouth. Because of that acidity from the bacteria's byproducts. I was thinking maybe I look more further into it. It sounds interesting. That's right. Izzy, you also have that little voice. Cause you to stop being a little baby. Keep pushing. Because, you know. That first feeling of like, oh, I don't want to go. That's just an emotional response. And then the bigger response. You're like, wait a minute. Even if I feel like this, I go out there, I do the best I can, and I feel better afterwards. And it generally does, that's exactly what happens. Generally do feel better afterwards. 
I just stepped outside to catch a breath of fresh air. Let me tell you, the weather's getting heavy. Nights like this make me especially glad I'm here talking to you and not home in bed. Once, once the weather takes a turn like this, I can't sleep at all. It's all tangled bed sheets and dark thoughts, punctuated Oof. by the occasional plunge into nightmare. <laughs> is it just me? Well, perhaps it is. But I hope I can make the night a little bit easier to get through. Caller, you're on KBF FM. Hey, hi, it's Walt Snyder. What's on your mind, Walt? Well, I ain't the way you are, but, well, uh, I can't sleep either, you know? Uh, I just been staring out the window here, trying to make sense of it all, but, uh, I ain't been drinking either, you know? I just... Well, you sound like a man with a problem, Walt. Hope that's not copyright music. Jesus, is he? Please go see a doctor. Get yourself checked out. Do some blood work. Get your blood pressure measured. Just to make sure you're not anemic or. I don't know. I mean, I don't think you might have. Yeah, I'm not a doctor, so go see a doctor so they can help you out. So that's that's not a thing that should be happening. Again, I'm not trying to scare you or anything, but uh, it's, probably, it's probably best to just go to a doctor and find out what you can do. And maybe they can point you to the right direction as well. To the car. Damn it, Alan. Yeah, like, like, boost up your stamina, mate. It's taking forever. I don't think there's anything around here, but I have been proven wrong last time. Oh, you're gonna get it now. What's happened? Yeah, I'm gonna get it now. Knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI. Get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are, Whoa! Oh my god, bullet time! What are you? I'm standing right here, you goddamn maniac! Exactly! I, 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 dude. I hated to leave Barry behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. Jesus, okay. Stealth section. Oh, shit. Oh! This is the Matrix. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, I'm gonna escape the police. Dude, they got doggos as well? Dude, I'm not, never gonna escape on foot. Oh yes, please, please go see a doctor. You don't have excuse of no time. You have time. Make the time. Health is better. Health over wealth. Remember that. Always. Because if you ain't healthy, you can't do anything. Go see the doctor. Oh my god. 
Al, please run faster. Oh, damn. Oh, dude, I see this somebody up there. Whoa! Dude, you tell him to stop, are you shooting at me? Come on, no way I'm stopping. A yeah, madman will stop. Okay. Looks like it's this way. Dude, it's like the police is FBI. Female body inspector. <laughs> And I'm not going to let someone suss as that inspect my body. And the script. The dark presence sleeps. For decades, the darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's skin slept fitfully in the dark place that was its home and prison. It was hungry and in pain. It dreamed of its nights of glory when the poet's writing had called it from the depths and given it a brief, terrible taste of power and freedom. The rock stars had stirred it from the deep sleep the poet had sunk it back to in the end. When it sensed the rider on the ferry, it opened its eyes. Okay, I don't know why um I'll allow that. I don't know why it stopped that there. See like that? It's permitted. Maybe I'm not female. You don't know that. I'm a uh chicken salad. Oh no. Dude, I don't have anything to protect myself. Oh! Oh! Please tell me I can grab gun. I mean, officer, are you okay? But, uh, can I grab gun, please? Exactly. I'm a federal agent pursuing a fugitive. You want to discuss my message, Sheriff? Make an appointment. Over. You stay right where you are, Agent Nightingale. I'm on my way. Out. Let's head towards the darkness. Oh. Oh, wait, there's more. All units are advised that the suspect may be armed. Approach with caution. James out. God damn it. I, I don't know if it's sunken uh, cost fallacy or anything like that, but it probably isn't. I, I love seeing as much as the developer wants me to see. You know, I, I feel like if I bought, because I did buy this game, I want to see as much of it as possible. That's relevant, you know? Like, I want to be able to see their art, and I don't want it to go to waste. Rose didn't know how the strange old lady got in her trailer, and she looked wrong somehow. The woman showed her teeth in an approximation of a smile and traced a finger down Rose's cheek. Pretty girl, she said. Rose felt as if she was falling asleep, but her knees didn't buckle. The crone spoke in a whisper, her words ice cold and dark in Rose's ear. Redeem plus check, thank you. Ugh, stretch, thank you. Oh, and hydrate. Always gotta keep hydrating. Alright, let's go. They should have made it that the more thermoses you pick up, this like the more stamina you build as well. That would have been nice. But that would mess up with the dodge mechanics though, I would imagine. Drop hazard, eh? Oh. Search the area. What if, what if the evil spirits are going to hit them? One darkness, the taken. Oh.
Yeah, no, oh, you're in for a treat. Was everywhere I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a writer, not a monster. You're in for a treat, is he? This is one of those um story games that are actually quite interesting. I can show foot traffic only. Oh, no, the light. More cop cars? What? Yeah. Dude, this age fire this agent man i'm not talking about the female agent i'm talking about the male agent jumping to conclusions you know, causing all sorts of house shooting while civilian was around dude he should have been fired long ago negligence discharge of a weapon lethal weapon by the way should have been fired ages ago Ugh. wait is that police siren in game or is that outside my door <laughs> What? How are you shooting me? I was like behind this thing. Freeze. Hell no! Why would I freeze if you're shooting at me? Oh, oh the birds are attacking. Get them, birds! Oh. You know what? Thank you, birds. Oh, I thought I saw like a... Um... I was imagining it. I thought I saw like a... Uh... Emergency box somewhere. I hoping to get some flares. So I don't think I have any equipment right now. As he said. you are trying to get run off. Okay, there's a fire. Yeah, Vichy can get him. <laughs> okay, well, might as well go up to Firewatch. And there's a game I gotta play. Let's use it. Anything else to look at? Thermos there. What the moon? The moon is everything getting foggy now. Ah, oh, the light of oh, thermos. Like they have a lot in common. Oh, 
Where the side? What? There's the radio tower. Nothing I can really see. Oh, is there a light there? I could see the lights at the radio station in the distance. Yes, we can. Perhaps that's where we need to go. I imagine that the broadcast tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Maine seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. Oh. Perhaps it. shadows clung to the gate. The darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. I wouldn't get through without the light. Okay. Or maybe he'll just, you know, give you up to the feds or the police. Have you ever thought of that, Alan? Can't ever know with these people. And you know, they might think you actually are a criminal and do that instead. So we need some light. Let's go straight to the uh, engine. Ooh. To the sparks. There we go. The old generator caught out. I'd have to see if I could fix it and try again. Oh, is it timed? I think it's timed, right? Oh, kick it. Anyway. It's timed. It's definitely timed. Okay, let's do it. Die! Boost power! And now it's dead. Damn it, Alan, please. Get your cardio working. I know you sit all day to write, but come on. Cardio is good for your heart, I think. The card is good for, you know, overall health. If, if anything else, just go for a walk. What, what, what? Yeah, that kind of spooked me a little. <laughs> yes, I got my flashlight back. Yes. Only five, eh? Die, evil spirit, die! Okay, I know I could have focused beam there, but I kind of want to save the batteries for now. I only got five. Once we get like eight, nine, or ten, then we'll probably. Ooh. It took me a moment to recognize the flashbang grenades. They were an ideal weapon for my situation. Team one, come in. Over. On Looks like your team's wiped out. The flashbang is very useful. I don't know why they make us get stuck there. Okay, let's have a look around before we drop. Alright, we'll drop now. Guess now we fight. Yep, nope, I'm out. Like this. I don't need to fight if I don't need to. Oh! oh my god, the damage. If 
Fuck off! Aha! Dodged! Oh, I don't... Not now. Aha! Get me now, idiots! Was us earlier. What, is... what the freak? There's so many of them. Oh, they all transformed. Ow! Ha! Yeah, missed. Idiots. Oh, oh. Okay, 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 okay. Stay away. No, the light went out. Are you being serious? Eat that, you piece of shit. Sound and view. Kill four taken with a single flashbang. Nice. Anyways, F5. Got a new, new one to look at. Rose touched by the dark presence. Touched by the dark presence. Rose was lost in a dreamland where everything was drawn in black and grey crayons. The old lady had promised her that all her wishes would come true. She would be Alan Wake's muse. She was smiling wow. so hard it hurt her face. She crushed a bottle full of sleeping pills into the coffee. Deep down inside, she was screaming in terror. So, it kind of works on your weaknesses, eh? That evil taken. I got nine flashbangs. We want to kind of use it sparingly. Oh, well, you don't need to use it sparingly. They, they probably will give you tons of stuff. Hey, guys. Are you telling me that this police is not enough? Okay. Come on, guys. Well, that piece of shit. Come on, Alan. Yep. Hey, he flashback. Boom. <laughs> Let's just run there. Ooh. What the? Where'd you come from? See it, bud. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? That's what I thought. Could lend me a car to get to the coal mine. Why, hello, Lorna. What do you have for us? Well, I just don't see Fly's car's father with the trailer 
Park. What do you mean? It's a trailer park. Of course you're going to have trouble in a place like that. I mean, what do you expect? Wow. She's a bitch. Oh, no, you're a bitch. This is what I got from that. I mean, you know, everyone's been down in the dumps. And you know, sometimes some people just need a helping hand. And other times, other people just need a swift kick to the ass. Knowing the difference between the two. Now that's... That takes some skill. I'm hoping I can, like, open doors here. Right. Come on in, Mr. Wake. Oh, I'm so glad you could find the time to do this, Mr. Wake. Nowhere to run now, Dan Brown. You back away from me. Don't hurt. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everyone calm down. Put the gun down. We're all friends here, right? Cool your jets, Nightingale. We got him. Whoa. What the hell's the matter with you? There's a civilian in there. Dude, what is wrong with that guy? They cuff him. I'll get you yet, even if it kills me. You hear me? You hear me, HP Lovecraft? I had fallen off so many cliffs, it was ridiculous. That's what you get for naming a book the sudden stop. It was probably good I hadn't had the chance to tell Maine where I was going. I'd have to lose the cops and find my own way to the mine. Let's pick this one up. Nightingale stared through the broken studio window into the dark woods. He turned around, started to walk out, but Maine grabbed his arm. Young man, you almost shot me. You don't shoot off rounds at people like that. What's the matter with you? Nightingale shook his arm free, marched out. His cheeks burned with rage and humiliation. Dude, what is wrong with this guy? I don't understand it. Oh, we got some flares, baby! Yes! And please get a gun. I mean, all more flashbangs, you know. Flashbangs is like a one-hit kill, so I'm happy to get more flashbangs, too. Quickly now. Run to it. Ah, goddammit. Hey, guys. Kablam! Come on, start, 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 start. Pick it up, please! Pick it up! Ah... Oh. Gun. Shotgun. Where's shotgun? Give me shotgun, please. There's nothing back here, is it? I feel like the game mechanic is the longer you stay out in the darkness, the tech can come out. That's how I feel like. So I just gotta remember the buttons. Yep, so that's yep. okay. And let's go this way. I forgot you don't ADS in this game. <laughs> we go up? No, we don't. Go towards the blinking lights. Get out of here! Get out of here! There was no sensible reason for the power company work lights to be here. It was almost as if they'd been left for someone like me to use. Yeah, it's called game design. <laughs> the darkness controls the Taken. Yes, yes, I understood that. Tap it. What? So the light doesn't stay on forever. Okay, good to know. Oh, is this some kind of like... Oh, I got a bad feeling about this. Yep. 
got a feeling this is gonna be like this. Woo! I just wanted to get like a one shot kill. How did you survive that? Yeah, I was kind of hoping that um, we can get them all in one shot. The flashbang. That would have been sick. I doubt there's anything up there, but I'm also wondering, can I climb on this and go all the way up? I can. Is there anything up here, though? There's not. And I don't want to receive full damage, so... Just... Okay, I mean... <laughs> manuscript up there. Okay, um... We'll go get that ammo. Switch back to pistol. I mean, I gotta do it. Oh! You can actually get achievements from it! I did not know that! Carney, knock it over five. Cans, nice. Okay, we're gonna stay in the light, so we don't... Trigger those bloody. Wait, Volva ammo? What? Did they drop ammo now? Okay, let's go get the manuscript. Five. Catch your breath. The bulldozer's engine roared to life. Mud and rocks flew as it fought for traction. It crashed the concrete wall and landed heavily in the yard. If it were an animal, it would have shaken its head after the impact, fixed its eyes on me, and charged. Of course, it had no head, nor eyes. Shadows crawled on its form, twisting it into a monster. Then, it came for me. Wait, so I'm going to a mechanical monstrosity. Got it. We'll keep this light on. I'll go this way. Thermos. I do it. Oh, oh I'm stuck on an invisible wall just then. Manuscript. Five. Sarah distrusts Nightingale. Sarah trusted her gut, and her gut said Agent Nightingale was an asshole. <laughs> he felt wrong, and it wasn't just the smell of stale booze. It was in the way he flashed his badge, pulled rank, the look in his eyes when he wanted answers. Where was Alan Wake? What was this about an accident? Where was his wife? And most importantly, why did she let Wake go? He wouldn't answer her questions. Federal business was all he'd say. Okay, so he's taking it personally. Something personal. Oh. Play a gun, please. No. I mean, I'll take shotgun ammo as well. That's pretty good too. Okay, that's reloaded. Those are good too, I guess. Hello? I'm here. I'm so alone here. It's all gonna go to hell. You need to be careful. Cooperate. What is going on? The connection had been terrible, but that wasn't the only thing that hadn't been right with the call. She sounded wrong somehow, but she had called me. 
Isn't that in itself a bit sus? Wake attacked by a possessed object. The pipe wrenched itself loose from the bridge's steel framework. Wrapped in darkness, it floated in midair, twitching. For a moment, I didn't understand what I was looking at. The heavy object lurched at me with impossible force. I threw myself out of the way, but just barely. When I turned my flashlight on it, it shook in a dark rage before it flew at me again. Okay, so it's like a ghost. Got a telekinesis. I could see a railway bridge up ahead and a warehouse of some sort on the opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. Except we're going to go this way because I saw a house. And that's probably where the goodie bags are as well. Yep, in here, in here. Yes, very, very good. Oh, yes, very good. Ah, it's reached. Let's chop out my three flares. Nice. We got 19 battery. Yeah, we're just gonna start spamming now. There's so much. It's that's. Reload, reload, reload. Yeah, yeah. Reload, 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 reload. Perfect timing. Kill those guys. Get more revolve ammo. Boom. We maxed. And I wonder if there's like a level in this game. Because it's been such a long time since I played it. I love in this game where they send you big boys, small boys, and the burbs. Actually, what I sent on while versing your boss. That'll be so annoying. Follow. Yep. Hmm. Sus level. Break. Oh, there's gonna be floating pipes in there, I just realized. That was pursuing me was growing stronger, and it was taking over everything in its path. What's that? Jesus, man. Any more? That was a bit rough. Oh, oh dude! I'm more down there somewhere. Jesus, it's getting a bit close there. I feel like they have more health than the bloody more darkness power than the other ones. Which is uh slightly annoying. I have to admit though, I'm so glad I don't care too much about achievements. If I did I'm gonna have to go back into it all again, eh? Slam the door shut right in his smug face. He pleaded for me to open the door. True to form, the asshole actually thought I would obey. I had no sympathy left. No guilt either. Not for him. 
I took a moment to savor the scream. I bet I had a smile on my face. It was all that I had time for. The dark presence was inside the lodge with me. Oh, dude, did he re So, the FBI guy gets wrecked. <laughs> Alan gets, uh, his sweet, sweet revenge. Just starting to get interested in writing. Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story. Certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. The darkness could possess anything. And it was getting closer. Alright, so now we got a heavy duty flashlight. Let's go. Hold down E. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's. I want to see the power of this. Oh, batteries? Battery. Oh, revolver. Thank you. Anything else? Any other goodies? No. Oh, it's probably boss battle as well. I can, I can feel it. Something's gonna happen here. Oh no, this place is a bit small though. Maybe inside. Hmm. Flares are good. I mean, flashbangs are better, but I'll take flares. I mean, did we really expect anything else? Oh, dude, I almost got myself killed there. Alright, big boy. They're like them apples, huh? Bitch. Right, let's grab that ammo. I'm a bit low on health, but uh, we'll make do. I'm sure it'll be fine. That big boy. Do you like these apples? I thought I pressed dodge. Boom, motherfucker. Okay, let's have a look around. Rustle some ammo. Guess not. In light, you can hurt them. Yes, yes, that's what we've been doing for the past God knows how long. But uh, always useful to get reminders. Light. Please get uh, ash bangs. Take the facts of our existence for granted, unaware that they are merely a thin veneer of desperate self-delusion, covering a vast cosmos of madness and horror. All too often, the stars are right in night springs. Ba -ba -ba. Tonight's episode, a family occasion. Journalist Alvin Durless' trip to study the local customs of an insular community in Night Springs has been less than successful until tonight. Well, I'm glad you changed your minds about this. Ancient customs, local mythology. My editor loves this kind of stuff. Well, Mr. Durless, we don't want to feel like we're on exhibition. But you have demonstrated the seriousness of your intent. Oh, I am serious. Really, just do your thing. I'll stay out of your way and observe. Actually, I thought you could assist us. I'm afraid we are a man short. It would provide you with an intimate perspective. Could I really? Of course, Mr. Durliff. Well, I guess that's the least I... 
what would I have to do? Oh, here. Let me show you with a kiss. I, uh, oh. I, uh, Kind of short that one, short and sweet, I guess. Yeah, this is looking more like a boss battle. Oh, manuscript. Which one is that? Wake attacked by the dark the presence. Darkness surged towards me, sucking everything loose from the ground into its depths, tugging at my clothes. I saw the flare the kidnapper had dropped and threw myself towards it just as I felt my feet leave the ground. The darkness embraced me with the force of a tornado. Somehow I managed to light the flare. The darkness roared and cast me away. I fell toward the dark waters of the lake far below. Okay, so we end up getting to see that. Oh yeah, we're not coming back. Okay, so there's stuff there. Oh, there's a horrid monstrosity. Other guys. Oh. Ow. Burn, baby, burn! That is an easier way to do this. Oh, dude, he ran me over! <laughs> You're by enemies. Try to run into the light. Oh, maybe there is a light somewhere. Focus beam. I can actually like hurt it. Hurt it to death. Oh, I can! Nice! Now, no, you can't. Can I help you, sir? Whoa! Okay, good. Dude, we got plenty of flares. I wonder if the, how much damage a flashbang would have done in that scenario, though. Oh, we got so much flares. Very good, very good. Oh my god, this. I feel like um, that battle should have been a lot harder. With all the resources that they're giving us. How about that? I'm gonna shoot one off so I can pick up the light. Ah, okay. So 20 is the max. Okay, good to know. Oh, maybe I was supposed to like dodge it, run around, and press this button so that we can, um, then we're supposed to keep running around and escape into the light instead of doing what I just did there. <laughs> Quite possibly that's. Probably what you're supposed to be doing.
then again, you know, there's no right or wrong way to play the game. As long as you can move forward. Okay, so, no manuscripts. Okay. I have never been this glad to see the sunrise. I had a couple of hours to get to the coal mine. Did I have a script? The coal mine wasn't far now. Today, folks. I would meet the kidnapper, and he would give me Alice. I wouldn't give him any other choice. A drowning man will clutch at a straw. That is true. That's why, um... Remember, I, I don't know if it's changed since then, but I remember... Like, some of the... Was it the stories about trying to save people who are drowning? Apparently, it's like, uh... What's the word? Well, let's drive there. Why the hell are we going to walk there for? Like, sometimes you just got to fight them off. Was that... Little without realizing it. I'd come to believe that the story in the manuscript was coming true. The current of its narrative had taken me deeper and deeper into dark waters. Alice had been taken from me. Barry was probably in jail. I was a fugitive from the FBI. The whole world taken over by the Dark Presence was trying to destroy me. It all felt real. But it matched a textbook case of insanity. Mm -hmm. Insane son. As I was saying, um, sometimes they gotta fight them off. Because, you know, it, the, the drowning victim doesn't realize what they're doing. They're just trying to survive. It's fight or flight mode. So you gotta, you gotta do what you, get, what you can. That's why people that jump in without, uh, without the professionals present also drown with the drowning victim. Because they don't realize that. The hell is there a chair out there? Excuse me. Well, then you take forever to get out of the car. There is a chair out here. Oh. Thomas, can I sit in the chair? Just can stand on the chair. <laughs> Let sink into it. Well, this is a nice view. Oh, that was unusual. Beaten path. Is there something down there? Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, you know what? No, there's nothing down there. Oh my god, did I really get my car stuck here? No. I probably need to get out anyways. But... So can you go up there? Okay, let's go up there for now. Come back down to this if we need to. Oh, was it supposed to loop around? for kind of abandoning you to that looping music track last night, but I was detained. You see, 
I encountered a big shot G-man with an itchy trigger finger who could use a, a lesson in manners and a boot in the ass. Not necessarily in that order either. Now, <laughs> folks, I know I'm not being very informative here, and I apologize for that. I really should just keep quiet, but I'm just so peeved right now. Because some people just shouldn't be carrying badges. And I'm just glad that our Sheriff Breaker was there to straighten things out. And if someone I met last night is listening, let me just say, I'm sorry if my mouth got you in trouble. I'm pretty sure you're not the bad guy here. Godspeed, son. I hope you know what you're doing. Now, on a lighter note, I'll be talking to Dr. Nelson all morning. But first, a little music. Okay. Oh, it's one of the good ones. It's one of the good ones. Yeah, so... Okay, so we can drive that way. Alright, let's take this car instead. Oh, buddy. Alan, you really need to, like... Get your shit together, man. Being a Horus, you know, protagonist... It doesn't know... It doesn't have much cardio. Is, you know, that, that just spells disaster, but also... Great for um, building tension. And it's kind of super slidey. Why? I wonder if I can just. No. Can't drive with the mouse. So we'll look up here. Take a look around, see if there's any manuals, manuscripts, nope. about life and finding that special someone, that soulmate. Well, you were talking about that. I was saying I don't buy it. Well, see, to me, that's strange because I always pegged you as a hopeless romantic. <laughs> you got me there, Pat. But I think love's where you look for it. And exactly. You do a lot of looking, sure. But the idea that there's that one special person out there for you, and if you miss that chance, it's gone forever and you're forever incomplete. I mean, isn't that depressing? Or heck, childish even? Exactly. Plenty of fish in the sea. <laughs> and apparently a fisherman has a fishing analogy for everything. But what you're saying, isn't that a little harsh? Well, no. What I am saying is that your potential for finding that connection isn't limited to what's essentially a chance encounter. How is that harsh? Yeah, well... I guess that's a nice thought, but let me say something personal here. Okay. Now, well, I, I don't disagree with you exactly, but I can't really fit that together with what I feel, what I what I felt for someone, because she was the one. She was. And she... I let her drift away from me. Maybe I didn't put in the work. I don't know, but, well, since then, and it, it was a long time ago, but, but since then, there hasn't been anyone, not like her, and I'm not saying I dwell on her or haven't moved on. I like my life. I'm not living in the past. But I do miss the way she completed me. You Aww. can't argue with the heart bat. Uh, I'm sorry, folks. I had kind of a scary experience last night. And let's just say it's shaken a few things loose. It sure has. Ah, We all have that love that lost. You know? I think I was in the same boat, kind of uh, a complacent. I stopped working on the relationship, and you know, you reap what you sow. Anywho, I do agree. Uh, love is where you look for it, and you gotta work for it. You got to work for it. Let's change cars. Hey, Orange, welcome back to the stream. How's it going, bud? No, it was not overcooked. It was um, plate up. I 
was kind of hoping for a manuscript or something. Anything. And please tell me I have all my items from the last... Uh, the last... Encounter. So I'd like to have those flashbangs. Because if they if if we get into this and we and I don't have any of my items, I'm I'm not only gonna save them, I'm just gonna start spamming using them as much as possible. For Mott, spying on the writer on the ferry had been a disappointment. His boss had made Wake Out to be something special, but Mott hadn't been impressed. He'd gotten a good long look up the wife though, and he liked what he saw. Mott had fantasized about goading Wake into a fight, but it hadn't happened. Still, He'd get his chance to see if the writer had anything in him. He'd been promised as much. Hmm. Is Mott? How's the game? Yeah, I mean, it's not too bad. I mean, I did end up... I did finish this long, long ago. One of my childhood memories. And because of that, uh, I do have a, a... I do kind of have a soft spot for it. I think the gameplay... Or the gameplay loop isn't actually... It's actually quite f decently fun. And then you know the story. Like, I already know the story, so it's not too... Well, I, mean, well, I know the basic story. Like, all the nuances I don't remember, but... I'd say overall, it's a good experience. Still, It still holds up for what, what it is. For an old game. Is it a parking? I was early. I was supposed to meet the kidnapper at noon in the main building. The coal mine was quiet. It was a museum now. I hate how slow he gets out of the bloody car. Like, come on, today. Optimus. Yeah, I'm hoping to um, finish this game and then the uh, DLC. And I'll probably have a look at um, getting Alan Wake 2. While there were some earlier residents in the area, the true genesis of the town of Bright Falls came with the founding of the Bright Falls Mining Company and the opening of the Bright Falls Coal Mine in 1878. Although the work ha was hard and dangerous, many immigrants, Germans, Poles, Italians, Finns and Swedes, among others, worked the mines. Of course they did. While lucrative at first, the mining steadily declined in the 20th century. The seams were rich, but hard to get at, and the volcanic activity in the area made the mine shafts particularly dangerous. Look at that. Doesn't this remind you of that video we watched about that, uh, that cave diving guy <laughs> got stuck? Pick up manuscript. Sarah in the radio station. With Nightingale gone and the night wind blowing in through the broken studio window, Maine stared at Sarah. The sheriff looked away. Maine's voice shook with barely controlled anger. That boy's doing more drinking than thinking. I hope you know what you're doing, Sarah. He's got a sickness in his eyes. You take my word for it. He wants Wake for a reason, and it's not for anything good. Exactly. Listen to the old man. In 1970, a volcanic eruption below Cauldron Lake, while relatively minor, caused most of the deep mining tunnels to collapse or flood. 32 miners lost their lives in the calamity, and all mining around Bright Falls came to a final stop. Now many of the remaining buildings are protected as historical landmarks. You know, what, you know what? I have I have this fear. Hey Tay, welcome back to the stream. How's it going? How's things? Um, as I was saying, um, one of the f one of the, like this uh, uh, this fear that I had, I mean, I I did have for a bit, but now I'm like it's out of my control, so I can't really do anything about it. Is that there's been quite a lot of um, earthquakes and maybe even volcanic activity. Up near, is it Iceland or Greenland? I can never remember what's happened recently. And last time this happened, and because I didn't look at the you know, seismic activity and how that relates according to historical data and what's likely to happen, 
and the top shelf and etc. You know all the terminology. I didn't look into it. But I, like one of my fears was the last time it had a massive eruption. I think the Earth cooled down quite a bit, which is also funnily enough one of the um, uh, strategies for climate change: global cooling. But with the volcanic thing I was, that I was talking just before, the thing I fear about that is when that did occur. It kind of shrouded the Earth quite a bit with, you know, with the volcanic ash going up in the upper atmosphere and cooled down Earth, but also slowed down agriculture and slowed down food production, which meant a lot of people starved. Now, that was a long time ago, and I'm worried that if it happened this time, would we be able to still feed the citizens and people all around the world? Because if we can't, I mean, we really got wars going on, which is terrible enough. And then trade deals, not not the best trade deals, because everyone's trying to make sure that they're stocked up because of the you know, the bleeding effect of war, among other things, and inflation and all that. Makes you wonder, eh? Makes you wonder. Anyway, I'm not doing too bad, Tay. I didn't want to go outside. Cops had to be looking for me. The noon sun turned the place into a sauna. The day dragged on. Different scenarios ran through my mind. Ways of how I'd torture the kidnapper to get Alice back. Or the different horrible things he could have done to her. I imagined her dead. I had no way of knowing she was still alive. It was killing me. I was running on blind hope. It was all a waste of time. The bastard never showed up. Damn. Never showed up, the bastard. Wake! Where the hell are you? Change of plans. You know where Mirror Peak is? It's a big mountain north of where you are. You follow the path from the mine, you can't miss it. There's a lookout point there. I'll be waiting. I'm through being jerked around you by you. You want to see your wife alive? I want to talk to Alice. Yeah, and I want the manuscript. Don't keep me waiting, Wake. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Ah! I'm gonna kill him. Yes, let's kill him. I kill the fool. To Mirror Peak. I mean, probably don't kill him. Oh Jesus! I mean, it's the light, right? Maybe closer than ever before. Where do I get out of here? You are kidding me. Okay, yeah, I mean, that's one way to do it. Yes! Yes! I keep all my stuff! Oh, fantastic! Thank you, thank you, thank you, game. Thank you, game. All that hoarding definitely paid off. I mean, I had a pretty shitty morning slash afternoon, but you know, I kind of worked worked my way through that, and you know, now I'm here, doing a little bit better. Oh, a lot better, really. Oh, I was gonna say something, now I can't remember. God damn it! Oh yeah, so while that sequence was playing, I just realized something. Like with the advent of like AI voice. Kidnappers, although they don't, they probably don't do this anymore, but kidnappers can now mimic the voice of the, and scammers as well, obviously, can mimic the voice of some someone you, uh, some, uh, like your loved one or something. Even if they're dead or something like that. How crazy is that? It's a horrifying thought. Absolutely horrifying. It's going to be like AI versus AI. I can jump out. Manuscript. Jesus. Like, I can imagine the world where we're going towards is AI versus AI. So AI, where the criminals and, you know, the illegal activity goes on, 
then there's going to be AI that combats against that. And whoever has the better computer, better processing computer and mind is going to be more powerful in that regard. Interesting, isn't it? Thomas Zane in love with Barbara Jagger. <gasps> Wait, is Thomas Zane? Is Barbara Jagger trying to s save Thomas Zane? Is that what she's doing? Is that why she's manipulating Alan Wake? When Thomas Zane fell for Barbara Jagger, it happened fast. She was young, vibrant and beautiful, full of life. He had never been a very happy man, and without any seeming effort, she had changed all that. Zane felt good for the first time in his life. Everything she did was another piece of a jigsaw puzzle he hadn't even known he'd been missing. And best of all, she made the words flow, strong and sharp. She was his muse. Aww. And now she's trying to manipulate me. More flares? No? Okay, this is definitely boss battle. Hey there, guys. I missed. Oh. <laughs> you like them apples, huh? Ha! 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 Whoa! Ah oh, no, not this BS again. I, I swear I pressed the dodge button, but I feel like it does nothing. Well, that was certainly annoying. Look at that. Ammo. Let's go back to my train of thoughts. Flashbangs, yes! Wait, am I equipping flashbangs? No, I'm equipping flares. I really like the game mechanic. Uh, even now, like, I mean, I didn't, I don't like it as much as I did when I was playing this as a child. Jesus. Hi, right, guys. What, you think locking me in here? That's where you got it wrong. I'm not locked in here with you. You're locked in here with me. <laughs> like the the like eroding the armor and then taking them out, but using the light mechanic, it, it kind of creates this. Like if you break it down to a foundational thing, it, it it's a very interesting mechanic in in of itself. But when it's executed like this, it's kind of cool. So you got like area effect attacks. You've got it stun locking them, slowing them down. For some reason I can't shine my light inside. That's kinda of sucks. It's an interesting mechanic, to say the least, and I enjoy it. I can't wait. I mean I'm hoping in Alan Wake 2, they actually like made it so. I wonder if I can just... Here you go. <laughs> Boom. Nice and easy. They really use the... Um... Come at me then. That's what I thought. I do hope that in Alan Wake 2 they use like the... Advanced lighting. And you know, you can shine light through the gaps and... May not, might, uh, might not be like the full power of the light, but can do things like that. And I hope they get more surreal and wacky. Because it's about, uh, I won't spoil it. Uh, we'll talk more about it at the end, I guess. <laughs> I don't want to spoil it for you guys. What the hell? Great, it's the darkness. Well, that can't be good. Oh, it's a large area. Likely a boss battle. 
Ah, ça c'est là. Le seul moyen d'arriver à la ville de l'autre côté était de passer dans le bâtiment. J'ai dû trouver un moyen d'éviter l'électrocution. Ok. Je pense que je ne peux pas arriver à travers ça. Ou peux-je? Peux-je arriver à travers ça? Non. Damn, j'espère que je peux arriver à travers ça. I climb on it. The car, and then I can just jump out of the car. Wait, 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 hold up. Where these guys come from? Die! <laughs> wait, this car is so slippery. Oh, that's nice. Hey, guys! Time to die! Oh, I just like completely wrecked them. Boom! Oh. Yeah, where is the switch to turn off the electricity? I assume it's up here. Power lines come up here. Let there be lights. You know, it also. Oh, flare gun, let's go! Oh, I need two ammo. Like, the other thing I like about it is it uses the, you know, the, the classic theory of the dark. It's, it's the light and dark stuff. And you know, our world is also designed with a lot of artificial lighting and stuff like that, which makes it really fascinating in, in of its own right. I'm out of battery. It's not good. Let's take out this guy. You know, I don't have to kill them all. But, uh... I will. Fuck you guys! Bane of my existence. Where's the other guy? I feel like there are others... Oh, there he is. Let's make sure I get enough speed. There we go. Anyone else? Want a piece of this? Whoa! Let's just get moving. After this madness. Let's go. Anything around here? Doesn't look like it. Let's go. Here, peek the little cat. This is my wife, goddammit. Ammo, what? Very good. Ow! Where'd you guys come from? Hey, buddy. Boom, boom. Hi, guy. Boom, boom, boom. Below. 
love that you can tap R to reload faster, though. It's a really nice feature. More roll of ammo. Thank you very much. I need to find headphones that don't hurt my ear. Hmm. Got all these parts. Some explosive barrels. Shut up, people! Okay, that chair wasn't was one of those possessed things. <laughs> Trust no one in the dark. Agreed. Wait, where do I go? Ah, I'm supposed to go up. Are we? No. There's probably like a well. Didn't they jump down from up here? Yeah. I is just blind. Hollow. We'll do after this. More thermoses. Manuscript. Wait, touched by the dark presence. Some have taken retained echoes of their former selves. But these were just the nerve twitches of a dead thing. Nothing remained but a shell covered and filled with darkness. In most cases, these puppets were enough for the purposes of the dark presence. But for anything more elaborate, as with the writer, it was different. It needed his mind. And so rather than taking him over completely, it merely touched him. Oh, it's giving me the bad touch, eh? Where's the light? Whoa! Jesus. I thought I was gonna get crushed here. Any batteries? Okay. That's just great. There was no way the flash flashbangs were standard power company equipment. So much batteries. Let's use it. All we can. I have to say the one thing I do like about this game is that there is a lot of checkpoints. Like a lot of checkpoints, so. If you do have a screw up, you can always reload the save. Oh, you know what's freaky? <laughs> My light just flickered. Imagine that in a scary scene. Light just flickering. Okay, so I've got a choice. Do I go this way or do I go this way? Okay, I'm definitely not supposed to go this way. I go this way. Hi guys! Good. There we go. Ah, oh, there's more out there. I see you, buddy. Whoa! I see a lot of yous. Okay. Let's do flashbang. How did I not kill more? Oh, you big boy. And you're a small boy.
Okay, there's a way up there. So, oh, manuscript. Wake and bury in a cell. Oh, I great. Through the bars of the jail cell. Barry stood behind me, swaying on his feet, looking as ill as I felt. Agent Nightingale stood on the other side of the bars with Sheriff Breaker. Nightingale had a stack of manuscript pages in his hand. He seemed unhinged as he gloated. Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's all here. All the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. Oh, he somehow got the, the papers. And everything's coming true based on what's, saying, what's said on the papers. And that's why he's freaking out. And that's why he's unhinged. Just like this bloody uh, kidnapper. Herb. Hermes. I will go there after I grab the thumbs. Do not fall, do not fall. Ooh, okay. Oh, Alan! Alan, please learn to jump properly. <laughs> Just. God damn it. That's. Ah, oh, yes, yes, yes. Goodies, goodies. Is up for some goodies? Oh, yes, more flashbangs, please. 15 flashbangs. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Trust no one in the dark. Got it. Oh, hey, guys. Fancy you guys here? Rude. I said rude. Stop it. That's right. And you're the big boy. So you get the big gun. Boom! Boom! Okay. I'm getting better and better at this. See my sick dodges. I am running a bit low on ammo though. Probably should start using flashbangs again. And just like that, my revolver happens back to max. And there goes shotgun as well. Shotgun's maxed as well. Looks like we're about to get more I shotgun number. Plan. I was going to give the kidnapper all the manuscript pages I had for Alice. If that wasn't enough, I'd hold him at gunpoint and make him talk. Hold down E to switch to pump action shotgun. Heck yes! Oh damn! H, H shots. That's really good. Okay. Left or right? I'm gonna go right. God damn, I missed. Gotcha, bitch. Didn't think I was that fast, did ya? I am speed. That sucks, I can't keep running as well. Because I lose my stamina. Get some then. Oh, 
Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Oh, there's a lot. Let me look. Missed, idiot. I can see you a mile away. Woo! Six guns scribe. Nice. Boom! Boom! Okay, so it still is powerful. Fucking um, pump. That's really good. A bit low on the revolver ammo side though. It's kind of hoping I'll grab something here. Let there be light. Ah. It really kind of gives you that comfort, eh? The dark presence was moving ahead of me in the same direction I was going. A cold feeling settled itself in the pit of my stomach. Was it going for Alice? It might be. It might be. Yep. It's not fun. The graveyard shift may cause cancer. Oh, that's horrifying to know. Oh, why is this guy so powerful? Oh, these guys can teleport as well. <laughs> Dude, oh, he must have been a boss. Oh, pop action. We're out of shotgun shells now. Oh, not shotgun shots. Revolve ammo. So we're gonna have to pump it up. Lithium batteries. Let there be light. Ah, let's get moving. I, I can't tell if each chapter is getting longer and longer. <laughs> Might be my imagination, but. The place was dead, a ghost town. Had been for decades, maybe a century. Oh my god. Are these like spawning in from the ground? Did you see that? <laughs> okay. Okay, that one isn't. Oh. Can we go back there? That's just a dead end. But is there a manuscript in the dead end? There is it. Let's get moving. Can I jump in here? Manuscript. Let's go. Waking Casey. Things were never as simple in real life as in fiction. I had lost count of the times I had wished there'd be a clear reason for my writer's block. Something to fight. Something to lash out on. There wasn't. I was filled with doubt. I was nothing like the hero in my books. Alex Casey had gone through his life with single-minded determination, never wavering from his goal. Even now, I was angry at myself. Angry at Alice. Angry at Barry. I was fumbling and I had no plan. Rough. It is rough. Grey Peak Gorge. Originally founded in 1928, the Grey Peak Gorge mining town was one of the permanent settlements the Bright Falls Mining Company built for its workers. The nearby graveyard is a testament to the dangers the miners faced on a daily basis. Most of the men who lost their lives over the years here were buried there, a grim reminder to be careful for those who remained. 
Great Peak Gorge was abandoned almost overnight when the Bright Falls Mining Company closed its doors in 1970. It'd be like that, eh? There's a mining town and then once the mines dry up, there goes the town. Ah, oh, any more? Any more revolver ammo? Or just give me more flare gun ammo as well. You know, I'm happy to just get flare gun ammo. It's locked. There's a thermos. There's a thermos in there. Some batteries as well. <laughs> I do apologize uh, for the quick turns as well. It's just that's how I generally play. <laughs> so I'm just generally like quick look, scan, move on. That's how I also play my FPSs. Jesus. Oh, there's a lot of them. Hide behind these things. What are you gonna do? That's what I thought. <laughs> Eat it. Oh. Oh, great. It's quite the welcoming party, eh? Eat this! Draining my battery like there's no tomorrow. They're here in an object should move on their own accord. <laughs> Gee, but I'm not. Oh. Any more useless items you want to throw at me? Okay. Quite the welcome party. Long mistakes. Iron horse encounter a steam engine. <laughs> nice achievement. And I'm still thinking about making games and then releasing it on Steam. Oh, what's this? Got a key. I'm releasing it on Steam, but I know it's going to probably take me a year or so. So I got, you know, I'm going to do it in my free time or during or when I stream, I guess. I stream the whole game making progress uh, process. Because the only safe haven on oh, that's nice. The only experience that I have is the introduction to Unreal Engine 5. And way back before I used to make games on Flash. Never, never published any of them, unfortunately. Looking back, I probably should have. But you know, I made the simple like escape rooms, platformers, and then top-down um, adventure. Flag on ammo, yes! Oh my god, that's so bloody rare. I need more. More, I tell you! Anything outside of writing is a struggle. I feel ill. I managed to make my way downstairs. There's a shoebox filled with books and papers by Thomas Zane. It's very hard to focus, but I managed to read some of it. He's a poet, and a good one. He writes of muses and creators summoning fabulous things from a magic lake, using his powers to shape the world of a realm of gods and dreams and demons, dark things that wait for a chance to slip through, wearing the flesh of men as disguise. Zane writes about himself. His girlfriend being taken over by a dark presence. 
about growing scared of the lake. Zane believes it's a mirror to the gaping void of darkness above, where some Lovecraftian presence lurks. I crawl back upstairs. I'll borrow these things from my story. They ring true. They fit. Oh. So did Thomas Zane write the beginning of this curse? An incantation to eventual realization of Alan? I wonder. Hunting rifle? Hell no. Why in God knows why I changed to a hunting rifle? Shotgun all the way. I'm really hoping, in fact I just kept with shotgun, they give me shotgun ammo, not bloody hunting rifle ammo. Because I'm going to be screwed if, if they give us <laughs> hunting rifle ammo. Because this is all I got. All I got is shotguns and flashbangs. I wonder if, wait, can I save game? I can't. Hey, Reploid, welcome back to the stream. How's it going there, bud? Long time no see, man. What's been happening? The time from work? Dude, I keep telling you, I'm not, I'm not your therapist. <laughs> Whatever advice I give you, you take it at, at your own risk. I mean, who knows? I could just be some dude on the internet. I mean, I am some dude on the internet. sent me a text. The message was full of spelling errors and insults. It was telling me to hurry up. I mean, it's telling you that he's turned into one of those sh uh, taken creatures. Yes! Oh my god, five flag on ammo? Not too bad. Let's make sure we get more. Look, he's killing you? Oh, dude, it sounds like um, we all had a rough day. The, the Salad family had a rough day today. Well, let me to some dude. You are, you are our dude on the internet. Ah, oh, That's sweet of you to say. Yeah, we... um. Like I, I woke up this morning not really not wanting to go to work. And I, I didn't explain it earlier, but the reason why is because I put myself in a position where I had a lot of reports to write and I felt so overwhelmed I didn't want to go to work. That happened. And then I remembered when I was at my physical peak and I projected that image of myself and that image of myself said, stop being a little bitch. And go to uh, and and see how you feel after seeing your first client, and then even after the first client, I was still feeling pretty low, uh, and I again projected and and it told me again, hey, you know, it wasn't so bad the first one. Stop being a little bitch. Keep going, and then, you know, overall, I felt good at the end of the day. Ended up doing a lot of good things. Didn't miss out. I'm providing therapy to the kids. Birds, birds. birds! Ah! Are they gonna come at me or not? Oh yeah. Get on this platform first. Here they come! Bird, baby bird! Fuck you, birds! Gotcha. Your report's super late, so Senpai did the job for you. Oh, damn. It gets like that sometimes. Every small mistake? Nah, that, that's, the, that's the culture I don't like. In, in Japan's work culture. Like, you don't need to be scolded for every little small thing. For some people, that works. Whoa! Bird! I can't burn! Like, I personally believe that every type of worker has, like, a way that works best for them. And I don't mean they they get to choose. I think they should be in consultation. So you should probably come to a negotiation and work together to figure out what's going to work best. But, um... Yeah, some people are really good at getting 
really good when they get told all the little things that they, that did wrong. Some people are not. Yeah, it really depends. Like, I'm like the worst. I would I wouldn't say the worst. I'm like a very. Uh, I think one of the good things is I'm, I'm, my work ethic is like really high, which also is a problem because I don't take care of myself, which is how I got into this predicament of having been overwhelmed by all the reports I have got to do. But I also like my freedom. In saying that, because I'm, I like my freedom, if I think what you're telling me is stupid, I'm not going to do it. Which I can ex which I can imagine will be a nightmare for the Japanese work culture in the in a businessman world, right? <laughs> Tunnel, go. Tunnel. Alice. Alice. Tunnels go to Cauldron Lake. Oh. I do not want to do that. Alice? Flares! Yes, please. More flares, the better. Yeah, no, we're not going to go there. That seems like a battle. Okay, so... Let's see what... Replied. I know I'm going to pause here a little bit, but I'm going to see what Replot said. Uh, you know how it is, boss is kind of Japanese culture-ish, obviously, because you're in Japan. <laughs> and I heard bad things about him from everyone else who left and changed departments. He's famous for being militaristic, bad to his staff. See, that's just that's just uncalled for. The previous boss in the same company was really nice to me. Oh, 180 degrees. Same company, different departments. And you want to be a manager and then become the nice manager. Yeah, see? That's, that's compassion right there. But you also gotta can't be too nice. You gotta be nice enough. And it's very tricky. Wait, am I supposed to go here? Without warning, the headache stabbed at my brain. Alright, now I'm set. Starting to Alice? 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 Oh, manuscript. Oh, I'm losing it. I gotta get out of here. Oh, my God. Wait, I'm going to kill myself in the lake. Oh, my God, I'm stuck. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. Okay. F5. Hunt is taken. The hunters were big, thick set men, confident and at home in the woods. They were feeling good, running on beer, ghost stories, and camaraderie late into the night. It did them no good, as they were taken by the dark presence, sucked deep into a darkness far worse than any ghost story they ever told or heard. Bum, bum, bum. There's an ad, so you couldn't see what, what I'll say. Okay. So yeah, like um, you gotta be compassionate and nice when you become a manager. Cause I was a uh, team lead in two separate professions, and I was generally the nice guy. And I was being nice because I didn't want anyone else to feel terrible. One of the challenges of being nice is you can be too nice and then they step all over you. And they might do it on purpose and they might not do it on purpose, you know. Some of them just, just didn't realize how easy they had it. So it, you need to be stern and fair, but compassionate as well, you know. If somebody's having like a, you know, like a, going through like a divorce or something. I mean, luckily in, here in Australia, like if there's like huge crisis that's, uh, affecting your work there's these things called EAP so that's employment assisted uh, programs which actually provides like psychological help so you get to see a therapist 
and assist you in helping you manage. There's a lot of these um, nice, um, a lot of these nice programs. A new script. Nightingale in the Majestic. Hidden behind the closed doors and curtains of his grimy room at the Majestic, the local motel, Nightingale could feel the locals' eyes on him, the unrelenting pressure of their judgment. He forced it out of his mind. For all he knew, they could all be under Wake's spell already. You do what you have to do to get the job done. He took comfort from the bottle in his hand. Please, he thought. Just let me get through this. Um, it's really affecting him. That's you when you meet your boss. Headache stabbing my brain. <laughs> stabbing my brain. <laughs> Not depressed or anything. Your brain is super strong. Just tired. Yeah, man. A bit of self-love and compassion. Look after yourself. Make sure you... You love yourself as well, you know. Oh, there's light down there. Oh my god, gave me hunting rifle ammo. I knew it. He wanted me to switch. Stupid game. Still asking me to switch to change the hunting rifle ammo to shotgun ammo. Great. You can't do that! Yes, idiots. Yep, get nice and close to each other. And... Boom! Idiots. Okay. Back to the flashbang. We have revolver ammo. Nice. Thermos. But yeah, you gotta, you gotta look after yourself. Like today I told myself I'm not doing any reports. Even though I'm the one who put myself in that position. I just said no, no reports today. Just emails and anything else that I need to do but no reports. I need to have that time to not think about reports. You know what? Overall, I feel better. Obviously, I'm gonna then have to do a mad dash of reports. I have up this mine shaft in order to go on. Maybe the machinery could help me with that. But, you know, I, I can probably do like a report here and there. I'm sure they can understand. Interesting mechanic. Can I turn that on? Yeah. This is the best bit. You can always negotiate. Be like, hey, we have too much reports, so... Hey boss, can you... Kind of let me... Chill out for a bit. I made a mistake. So... If possible... You know, it's gonna be a bit late, but... Please understand. Uh, let my lesson this time. Well, I will learn my lesson this time. And I'm gonna, you know, I'll make sure that I look at my timetable. Make sure I got enough space and time to do all the reports. Yeah, it's, all, it's all a learning curve. If they don't allow you to learn, then what's the point? Yeah, that's what I think. Who knows, right? I don't have the data to back it up, really. I, I think there was like a, um, a study on positive versus negative reinforcers. Oh my god, I almost fell. On um, fighter pla uh, fighter pilots. And they found that both work quite well. I think the, the negative reinforcers were like 40-something percent. Or the positive reinforcers were at 50-something um, percent. So it wasn't really significant at all in terms of um, which one works better. But uh, if you were to consider the, not just the results of them doing better, consider the potential emotional and psychological 
factors. Okay. Why, not, why not use positive reinforces? I'm sure you need probably need a mix, ideally. Positive reinforcements works better. Eh? Works. I reckon that's true for most people. And sometimes negative reinforces as well. Yeah. Oh, I gotta bring back the kick, I just remembered. <laughs> can I go down there? I can go down there. What's up? Do I go up or do I go down? Uh, let's go up. Ooh. Maybe there's a man. Oh, I got a sun craving for dried figs. Flash flares. I rather have flashbangs or I dare say more shotgun ammo or revolve ammo, please. Manuscript. Poor hits Nurse Sinclair. The flash behind the windows of Cauldron Lake Lodge. Tor Anderson laughed and held the steel hammer above his head. Nurse Sinclair was trying to calm him down without success. Tor grinned madly and shouted, my hammer's up. Here's a friendly poke from Molnir, wench. He brought the hammer down with all his might on Sinclair's head. We're on a comeback tour, baby. Oh, wow. Tour's changed. Yes, that is a big mountain. Why do I have to focus on the mountain? <laughs> ah! Oh, not too bad. I'm hoping for a thermos out here. Oh well. Yeah, I don't, I don't like people that, you know, Give me like shit for tiny things, if that makes sense. Oh my god, it's a bird again. Cough. Like, tell me, but don't, you know, don't be a, you know, don't be like a. Like, this is how I think, right? If I'm making like tiny mistakes that's actually costing time and money and, and for the company, right? Don't come in and tell me what like what the problem is. Don't be like, hey, you're doing this wrong, you're doing this wrong. Instead, I think the better approach is, like what I like to use with uh, when I was a team lead, is I'll go in and be like, hey, I've noticed uh, you, you're doing a lot of this repetitive, uh, repetitive mistake. And, you know, it's making sure that uh, we're supporting you well enough that uh, these or maybe you don't know a process, maybe, uh, maybe we can figure out what's going to work best for you so that you don't make these mistakes as often, right? That's the approach. Then you sit down, have a chat. Yes, it's going to probably take more time, but I think in the long run, you know, the person will be appreciative of that. And, you know, the company will eventually make more money, out, you know, because they will stop making that mistake. And, and it feels nice. But then again, there are some people that you just need to be like, hey buddy, uh, we've discussed what to do, right? I need you to just start doing that. Because you know, you know, there's, there's only so much support. Just great. I know, the last one was terrible. Can you be my boss instead? Come here to Japan. I don't know, I don't like Japan's work ethic. I like my 9 to 5. You know, I don't want to do overtime. I mean, that's a lie, because I do overtime anyways, but... Wait, ah! You can't attack and then suddenly go, Oh, look at me, I'm over here! Stupid game. Get it. Stupid birds. Stupid birds! Gotcha this time. Probably should have just used the flare. Just 
Well, that flare ran out really quick. Oh, come on. Come on. Old. I don't know why the mouse locked locked it in that view. Oh, okay. No time for talk. Time to kill. Oh my god, man. Dude. That <laughs> actually scared the shit out of me. That was a good one. I like that. Like, I was looking at this thing, the emergency box. I was like, ooh, emergency box, and then out of nowhere, that shit falls down. Holy shit. Okay, we got more revolver ammo, which is fantastic, but I would like it if they gave me shotgun ammo. How's the game? Yeah, I think it's still pretty good. Still holds up. I'm still finding it fun. I like the, the gameplay loop as well. Just using the lighting mechanics, because it's kind of... Like, if you think about it, it's like eroding the armor of the enemy before you can hit the soft spots. But at the same time, there's a symbolic meaning of, you know, light versus dark. And also, you know, I played this as a... I actually probably don't know, so I gotta stop saying you know. It's a bad habit. Also, the fact that I played this when I was a child, so you know, it has a soft spot by that regards as well. I should probably start using shoddy. If I'm gonna switch here... Wait, can I just grab the ammo at least? Anyone else? Boom, boom! Uh... I'll grab the ammo. I really don't want to switch. Seventeen shots. You know what? I'd rather just have the shotgun. Took too long in my decision making skills. It's fine. I'm just gonna run. That's alright. It's idiot. Alan. Oh my god. He actually ran out of stamina, so I couldn't dodge or run. Great mechanic. Great mechanic. I mean, I, 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 I know that sounds sarcastic and a little bit annoyed, but it actually is a great mechanic. You can't keep dodging forever. You eventually will run out of steam. Let's run. I'm just going to grab the ammo. I'm not going to bother switching. That's why you, gotta, you can't run forever. You got to like use it sparingly. Almost got me there. Now we run. Run! Make it, make it, make it, make it, make it! Oof! Ah, oh, they give you so much hunting rifle ammo. But I like my sh pump shotgun. There's eight shots in this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight shots. Is it like Silent Hill? No, there, there's not that much symbolic. Um, meaning compared to like Silent Hill but then again later Silent Hill games didn't really have really good symbolic meaning <laughs> cool. oh there is some symbolic meaning in this actually no I do take it back but it's uh, a little bit different Cauldron Lake the 8th deepest lake in the world Cauldron Lake is a caldera lake formed in a volcanic crater 
The volcano itself could be considered to be active, but it has not erupted since the volcanic earthquakes of 1970. And even then, the underground activity was comparably mild. Despite some property damage, there were no casualties. Cauldron Lake is one of the most beautiful spots in Bright Falls area, as well as a central figure in many local folk, uh, local folk tales. It's a popular recreational area for the area residents. Okay, to know. Oh, this can't be good. Yep. Is it the birds? Don't look down. Immediately looks down. <laughs> Oh, it's, it's big boys, by fence. See ya, buddy. Ow! This is shit. Alright, big boy. Oh, excuse me? Shotgun, please? Ow. Ow, uh, you know what? You, you piece of shit. Hey, check this out. Bang! 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 <laughs> Boom! Headshots. That's an old reference, if anyone understands. Some help this way. Nice. This way. Oh, yes, let's go. Flare gun, yes. Absolutely my favorite. I, I swear the flare gun is like my favorite weapon in this game. Just because of the way the light mechanic and destruction works. I just like demolishing a bunch of enemies. And it's cool with the whole slowdown cinematic aspect. And because it, it's so sparing, you don't have to, it doesn't repeat a lot of times, so you get to enjoy it when it happens. All of Stucky's rental cabins. There had been no sign of the wakes. It was dark when he'd found their car parked at the end of the road by Cauldron Lake. It made no sense. They must have taken a wrong turn, but there was no sign of them, and the car had been there for hours already. Frustrated, Mott stood on the rotten ruin of the footbridge that had once led to Diver's Isle before it sank beneath the waves years ago. The boss wouldn't be happy. Okay. Some Mott. Who is Mott? Moth. <laughs> like, moth to a flame. I heard this saying that says, don't be the moth, be the flame. It's an interesting way to put it, eh? Be the light kind of thing. Maybe that's what it's kind of alluding to. I kind of like it. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> I do not envy editing this. I don't know, do you guys actually want to see the edited version of this at all? And I don't mean like the super shortcuts, because I feel like the story in itself is so good that it needs to be shown. Especially for those people who have never seen this game before. Or should I just leave it as a long form content on the second channel? I thought this was a door. Wait, how am I supposed to get in? Here we go. Ah, <laughs> you talk to me on TV, Tom. 
I miss you, Tom. Tom, 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 Tom. Okay. Someone likes Tom. I curse you, Thomas Sane. Oh, okay. That guy doesn't. I miss you, Tom. Did you write this? Oh. Sorry about that, somebody walked into the room. Um, C, is it CW? CW and TZ. So they realize, so that CW seems to realize that um, Thomas Dane can write things into reality or something like that. And they got, it's cursing him. Or maybe Thomas Dane used it for nefarious purposes. And that, Created various situations. Yeah, it's more hunting rifle ammo. Yeah, I hate the fact that it's all hunting rifle ammo. Shotgun, please. Yes! Ah, uh, flares maxed. Alright, we gotta start using. Oh, revolve ammo. Okay. So flares are max, so we gotta start using more flares. So 20 is um, the max you can hold. Good to know. Oh, why does it look like this thing collapses? You piece of shit! Oh, hey guys. I see you guys around here. Excuse me. I'm gonna go up here. Yep. Excuse me. Ow, ow, ow. Hey, hey, hey! Alright. Right, bitches. Back, demons! Back! Woo! I'm dead. <laughs> Damn it, I couldn't... Couldn't move through it. It's very annoying. Okay, maybe I'm, I'm not gonna pick up anything here. So I know... Shit's gonna go down. So maybe I'm gonna... I'm gonna try the, the tactic again. I'm gonna try to slip through if I can. Cool. I mean, I like this action sequence. All circle. Flash him. Dodge him. Flash this guy. Dodge him. Flash this guy. Dodge. Yes, this is what I wanted. And then boom! Oh, I'm blocking this guy. I'm getting up here. And another one. Actually, I can probably just... Hey, guys. Boom, motherfuckers! Flashbang! That was sick. Oh, what? Just tough as. Boom. Say hello to my boomstick. <laughs> yeah, let's go collect some ammo. That way, I'm hoping that I'll get a lot more ammo. Yeah, I didn't really. Resource management, people. Resource management. You got a knock, 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 kick. Ah, it's not as forceful. <laughs> you know, you gotta make an entrance. That's how you become main character. Main character energy. You gotta make an entrance. <laughs> <laughs> Let's 
something up here? Oh yes, that's right. Totally almost forgot about the thermos. What is annoying is that if you pick up the thermos and then you restart from the checkpoint, it doesn't count. So you have to go back and pick up the thermos again. And because of that, I've lost like two thermoses. I could see Cauldron Lake. I thought I could make out the spot where the island and the cabin had been. There was a light near it. It had to be a boat. So we're going to go in the middle of a active volcano. Oh, manuscript. I was close now. I had to get there fast. I dreaded what I would find. Oh. I tried to hold on to Alice, but her form melted away. I was losing control. Dr. Hartman stood in her place. I wanted to hit him, but my arms were jelly. He smiled. It was a reassuring smile, and I hated him for it. I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. You went through another rough period. Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. Oh, this is all a dream, eh? Let's have a look around, see if there's any manuscripts or thermoses. It's like a rap weird thought, like, I'm gonna be cursed to see, like, Why would you let go? Thomas Zane? End of episode three. Oh my, oh my, what So that was episode three. Answer. So he clearly messed with the wrong person. So I'm hoping you guys are starting to piece it together the story. Alright, so we're gonna see the cutscene of episode four. Hope you guys are ready. In three, two, one. Previously on Alan Wake, I'm hunted by the law. Sheriff, Wake's running. I'm giving chase. Are you seriously telling me that writer just took out my deputies? A thriller I supposedly wrote is coming true. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. <sighs> it's turning into a horror story. I was told that Alice had been kidnapped, but that was a lie. We don't have his wife. We don't have 
know where she is. Her purported kidnapper was eaten up by the Dark Presence before it attacked me. Episode 4, The Truth. Alan, shh, baby. It was just a nightmare. Alice. There you go, Alan. Hartman, I fell. I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. I... You went through another rough period. What? Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. The shock of your wife's death triggered a mental illness. No, you're... you lie. You're suffering from various symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia. Bastard. It's okay, okay Alan. Just, Just let, let go. Go, 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 go. Never, you creepy bastard. <gasps> Feels more like Silent Hill meets Heavy Rain. Yeah, kind of. I felt groggy. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. Okay. Well, looks like we're at the lodge. And this will be for next time. Right, well, I hope you guys did enjoy today's stream. Uh, if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Really helps me out. Comment down below to help the channel grow and share it around. And hopefully, it'll steal the show. As always, take it easy. Until next adventure, I'll see you there. Thanks for watching. Bye now! And all you veteran viewers, I'll see you over at Theater. Some quick meme times. <laughs>